one. Hi everyone, this is my first screencast video. I hope that uh, you can all see this. I have typed in here code.org and I will be showing you guys some more about code and some activities you can do with your students to learn more about code. Um, if you click here, Hour of Code, it'll take you to another site. And this has a bunch of resources about coding. So these are kind of like mini games that students can play online. Um, I actually got a chance to try the Moana uh, Wayfinding with Code. And I haven't tried any of the other ones, but I think I will try another one later. So there's lots of options here. You can see many games. There's even Hot Wheels. There's one about dragons, etc. So the student can pick one that interests them. On the side here, you can see that there's different filters. So you can pick a specific grade. You can also pick beginner or comfortable for educator experience. There's student experience, classroom technology, and then specific topics. So if I wanted hmm, to pick language arts, I could select that. And then you can see the results have changed here. You can also select more than one, so it limits your search. So I could have language arts and grade two to five, and that changes things around a little bit more. So let's try Moana. So we're gonna click there and start. As it loans here, you can begin now. It's taking a while to load. My internet's probably slow. So when this loads, it has different uh, steps and it'll teach you how to code. It'll teach you the basics. There's even videos, instructional videos that'll teach you. Let's see, we'll click out of this. It's kind of an intro video. Okay, so lesson one of 19. There's 19 lessons in this one. Okay. I heard there are fish nearby. Oh, there's some music. Let's move forward. I'm gonna mute that. So it says here in the top, the instructions, drag a move forward block to the workspace and hit run to try your program. So if you can see in the picture, you need to move to this little circle here. And it says when run, move forward. But we're gonna need two spaces. So we're gonna drag a block, move forward over here, and then click run and see what happens. All right, so we're going to catch some, catch some fish, but nothing yet, so we're moving forward. So that one is complete. That's the very basics of coding. The cool thing about this is that uh, students can work at their own pace and they can choose topics that they like. And even if you get one of these wrong, you can go back, it'll give you a hint on how to retry it. So it says move forward so then they can catch more fish. Let's just see what it does if we make a mistake. Let's only put two instead of three and see what happens. Oops, I don't think we are moving closer to the fish. Come on, Moana. Okay, we're gonna move forward. It says, oops. Okay, still need a few more blocks. We're a few blocks, few blocks short. So it gives you a chance to do it over and then we'll put another block, see what happens. 